Vorhang auf für eine neue Episode im niemals enden Theater um Slipknot, die neuen verrückten Maskenträger aus Iowa, USA. Iowa nannte man denn auch das mit Spannung erwartete Zweitwerk der Band, das seit Montag vergangener Woche in den Läden steht. Nach dem Slipknot-Hype des letzten Jahres sind die musikalischen Erwartungen an das neue Album hoch. I mean, there's still the traditional Slipknot sound all over the record. I mean, we didn't totally go. I mean, what these kids are getting is a Slipknot record. We just went for the more dark element, especially with, you know, like the, you take the scissors or the sick or the surfacing of the last record, and that's the majority of what it is now, you know. Uh, we didn't really go to too much with any sort of radio friendly type of songs at all man we really kept it dark we had so much success in such a short period of time and everyone thinks like they figured the band out as far as like what we're going to do next and like the heaviness of it we still use producer ross robinson but the fact is he you know he's a key player because he understands exactly what we want to do he doesn't want to try and change our sound to go more towards radio and you, know, you hear all these bands all the time especially the bands that we're in company with always talk about hey you know we're going to go heavier with our second record and all this shit And the, the fact is, is that the bands always end up letting a lot of their kids down. So we went back to a lot of our old death metal and black metal roots on this record. The music that we're making right now feels really, really natural to us and very comfortable as to it coming out. So I know it's no sellout. Dass Slipknot ihren Fans, den sogenannten Maggots, alles verdanken, wissen sie schon lange. Verborgen blieb bisher aber die Verkündung von Liebe, Hoffnung und Positivität durch die sonst eher skandalträchtigen Maskierten. And everything that you've done for us has been such, such appreciated by the band that we made sure that we made a record for the bands like it's a thank you note. So it's totally for the fans, man. You are wrong, fucked, and overrated. I think I'm gonna be sick and it's your fault. If we didn't have such love for these kids and such love for the music that we do, we would not even be existing. I mean, a lot of these songs are pure outlets for a positive change, which brings about a constant love for the unit. The unit of the planet make the planet better to have the, this type of release. Don't tell me I'm going on now, but you know what I'm saying. You know, we got the, the you can't have all of it over here. You got like you got the Peter Tyler effect. You know, life has to be made up of 50 percent. 50 percent of the people are going to love you. 50 percent of the people are going to hate you. It's just the way it goes. But that's the perfect balance, of which makes a band a great band, which makes a positive change. Well, there's plenty of great people in this world, but every one of those people has someone to fight. There's always something left to fight, man. I mean, it's a big world out there. There's good. You always got to make a positive change for the better. Drama Joey schreibt zudem auch musikalische Nächstenliebe groß. Then I did some work with a friend of mine, Man Marilyn Manson. I did some work with him. I remixed with, uh, one of his songs. I might be doing more. Thank you much for watching. This is Joey again from Slipknot. And uh, this is the video that you've seen before. This is uh, Wait and Bleed. Thank you. Breaking 
I'm 